and I'm going to use the same NLTK library. So first of all, let me restart this kernel. Okay. The paragraph that I'm taking is from the same example that we have done in the previous stages. Right? Guys, always remember, try to understand this scenario because after some videos, I'm going to upload a use case where we'll be doing sentiment analysis on restaurant reviews or it may be on Amazon comments, right? Comments on the product. We'll be doing a sentiment analysis and we'll be trying to find out whether it is a positive sentiment analysis or a negative sentiment analysis. Now with respect to TF idea, first of all, I'm going to import the NLTK library. Then I'm going to import this paragraph. Okay, my paragraph is got uh, imported. I can see the paragraph here. Okay, again, the first step is basically cleaning the text. Always remember, I have to clean the text. And I've already explained why we have to clean the text. For cleaning the text, what I'm going to do, I'm going to import regular ex expression library. I'm also going to import the stop words. Let me just zoom in. So this is my stop words and regular expression, which I have imported, okay? Then what I'm going to do is that this library is basically for stemming purpose. I'm not going to use stemming because I feel that word lemmatization will work very nicely because we need to find out very good words and then we should try to find out our TF idea. So I'm not going to uh, import this portal stemmer, which is for stemming. I'm just going to import WordNet lemmatizer, which is for lemmatization purpose. So here it is, I've executed. You can see that my laptop is super fast, it's getting executed very quickly, okay? Then once I have imported WordNet lemmatizer, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a WordNet lemmatizer object which will do the lemmatization function, okay? Now I have my paragraph. Always remember I have to tokenize this paragraph, basically convert this paragraph into sentences. So I'll be using sent underscore tokenize function which is present inside NLTK and I'll convert my whole paragraph into sentences. So here it is, I'll execute this. Now let us see that how many different sentences I have. I have around 31 sentences, right? So this is my 31 sentences. Uh, then I'm going to create a new variable, which is a new list, which is corpus, because I'll store everything from this paragraph after applying, you know, um, after removing the stop keywords and after applying the word net lemmatizer, basically, after doing the lemmatization. So what I'm going to do is that this statement is almost the same that we have discussed for the cleaning process in my previous video. If you have not seen that, go behind and see it up. But again, I'll try to explain you. I'm going to put a for loop on all these sentences that is the size of 31. When I'm putting the for loop, what I'm going to do is that this for loop will run from 0 to 31. So basically all my sentences, it will run with a range of all my sentences. So on each and every sentence, this particular loop will run. This re dot sub, r is for regular expression. I am removing each and everything from that whole paragraph apart from a to z and capital A to z. Okay, I'm just cleaning ev up everything like full stop, comma, exclamation mark, question mark, or any digits because uh, those will not actually play a better role in sentiment analysis. So I'm removing everything. Then I'm doing the lowering of all my sentences. Then I'm doing split of that sentences to get the split of words. I mean, to get a list of words. Then I'll apply a list comprehension. In this list comprehension, I'll put a for loop for word in review. If not word, if that word is not present in stop words, I'm going to apply, you know, wordnet dot lemmatize. I'm going to do the lemmatization of each and every word. And finally, I'm going to join all the reviews that I have and append it in the corpus. So here it is. Uh, I've appended in the corpus. Now let's see. After executing this, uh, it should get executed quickly. Yes, it has got executed quickly. Now let us do one thing. Let us let us uh, select the corpus and let us select the sentences. Now let us compare it, okay? Now the right hand side is basically my sentences. After applying lemmatization and uh, removing the stop keyword, this is my left hand side. So it has removed almost everything and it is looking a very good sentence altogether, okay? Now, the next thing is that, how can I apply a TF IDF model? Now, in order to apply TF IDF, I'll just remove this. This is not bag of words. I'll write it as TF IDF. Now, in order to create this TF IDF, what I'll do is that I'll import a library which is called as TF IDF vectorizer. Now, remember, guys, for bag of words, we imported something called as count vectorizer, but 
for tf idf i'll upload a library which is called as tf idf vectorizer which is present inside sklearn.featureextraction.txt okay it is present inside skykit learn library we'll import this library which will be helping us to do the tf idf mechanism then i'm going to create the object of tf idf okay and i'm naming it as cv and i'll write cv.fit underscore tar uh, transform for, for this list of words and i'll convert this into tf idf document matrix and convert finally into an array now as soon as i execute it you will be able to see that so here is my x let me just show you in a bigger manner now you can see that i'm having some decimal values some some different different values right now this actually gives the importance with respect to in a sentence and it gives other other importance you know it gives varying importance to different different kind of words by specifying either a higher and lower value based on the frequency of the elements and based on the term frequency and inverse document frequency concepts that we have discussed okay so what i would like you all to try take different different sentences guys because take different different sentences apply tf idf and see how you, how how different you are getting different different values with respect to tf idf i hope you like the videos guys uh if you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe it share with all your friends who who is actually needing this data science kind of lectures i'll be continuously uploading videos uh, my plan is daily to upload at least one video in my playlist uh, which will be very very helpful for you uh, about me i'm having abundance experience in data science more than 5 plus years i guess more than 6 plus years uh, and i'm working in various finance various domains in with respect to data science okay so uh, i'd request you to please subscribe to my channel share with your friends who who's in need of learning data science and uh, this code will be actually provided in the github uh, and the description will be given in the description box okay um have a great day ahead guys uh, i'll see you in the next video thank you all